Let's do let's start with this map mode. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 3, still from the live stream. And look at those railroads, and also a severe lack of cash. I had almost two million built up. And, well, there's one and a quarter of it. And people are now making Candyland board game jokes about Crete. Love it. Love it. Uh. So yeah, how are our factories doing? We're really having some trouble getting employment across that way. You know, we really have very limited presence of capitalists in the state, which is kind of weird. I'd be expecting a much higher capitalist presence, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this. I'm going to encourage capitalists in Giza. Hopefully give a higher capitalist presence in the state. Yeah, it's already gone up. It's already going to shoot up like hell. A general died. Well, sucks to be him. Yeah, prestige went back to one for you. I don't know. Um, maybe they lost prestige. Maybe I gained prestige. Who knows? I'm pretty sure I have the highest, you know, general gain, per gain of prestige in the game. So yeah, we now are building railroads everywhere. And this is actually causing me to have frame rate troubles. All these, all these animated freaking cranes are killing my frame rate. Holy crap, this was never intended to be done. This was never intended to be done. We were never supposed to be building railroads across the whole of Africa and the Middle East at the same time. My god. Okay, let's open the screen so our frame rate returns. Alright. Um... Yeah, right, I'll accept that factory. I, I, I've given in to the capitalists. They can make them start building factories. Don't approve that factory. Like I said, start to, start to try and get some more capitalists going. As more and more job opportunities are opening up. Giza, hopefully. Ooh, declared war on Flynn. Am I even surprised at this anymore? Ruthenia. Why the hell do they want military access? Who are they at war with? India. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, looks like we're intervening. Hurry, hurry, super scurry. Call up the troops now in a hurry. Gather the legions together. We can travel through Tarisa. Wait, you're only at 27,000. Weird. Oh well. Yeah, it does, but at the same time, the railroads. The railroads everywhere. But yeah, I I will not stand idly by while the Quasim Khanate becomes a superpower by eating India. <clears throat> it is something I cannot and will not allow. So as such, like I said, if they start even losing remotely, then I'll become able to join in when I can increase uh, my status with them to uh, friendly. If, uh, though they have total military strength equaling out. Jeez, attrition's hitting these guys hard. Alright, well. So let's uh, start spreading them out across the area, I guess. That's it, okay. Wow, okay, um... No. 
aren't you? Yeah. Alright, so. You guys stop and merge and go to section 3. And uh, we'll have you here. And you here. Oh yeah, that's right. We'll also need troops up here. Alright. <laughs> Get the troops into position. We're going to be helping India. I can't let the horde get a taste for blood. Well, looks like India managed to finish annexing everything. <laughs> That's probably the last of it. Yeah, they, they, they've got Malwa and that left le bunch less to go, and then Ming. Someone in the, earlier in the chat asked where Ming was, and that's where Ming is. That is all that is left of Ming. Well, suppose Dems to breaks. All yellow. I've lost more people than I would like to admit. Attrition there, but foolish, foolish me. I am going to be defending the Indians. Against the Russians. Assuming they start losing, which I assume they will. In order for me to be able to join in. I had the action. I can't join in a winning war. <clears throat> I don't want to attack them later. I just want to sphere them and get, you know, get their uh, market cornered closely. Uh oh. The fact that I can now pass a. It would appear that um I should be passing universal health care, is that correct? Yep. Or I could really up the radicalism of everything. What's the current radicalism looking? Seventeen point five? Yeah, I can get away with this. I'm gonna go for acceptable school system first. Yeah, suppression 45. That's fine. Um, I'm okay. They, they, they probably won't reach 100. I should be able to. Uh, it's only until June 12th, so. You see, I can't do that again because that would give them another 45 radicalism and just throw them over the wall, but. Why would you suppress healthcare? I'm not. I'm just... Let me put it to you this way. In the bill for healthcare, I'm sneaking in extra stuff related to schools. That, that's, that's the best way to put it. But they got their healthcare, don't worry. See? They got their healthcare. They're happy now. And apparently we're going to have to deal with unemployment subsidies soon. Again. And the people want more unemployment subsidies. We'll see about that. But yeah, I managed to sneak in acceptable school system, so. Yep, getting two reforms for one, pretty much. I really want, you know, to be having the best school system possible, because I like my literacy. So, is India losing the war yet? Yes, yes, they are. So I now just need a friendly opinion of them. We're at 36, so we just need to get to 50. It shouldn't be too long. 37. Japan has declared war on Quinn. Okay. Kurlandian War, Carl. Social Democrat Party, responsible for the Earth Program, which made the Social Democrat Party to number 
Marxism, yada yada, something about Germany. Increase relations, it'll go faster. This is true. As long as India doesn't completely get their ass kicked before I can join in, everything will be fine. I don't even know if you guys can even hear me over all that industrial shit going on in the background. Let's just take this time and a moment of silence to upgrade factories. Yeah, I'm not upgrading glass factories anymore. Not even worth my time. Okay, we're getting an actual presence of um, capitalists in the state. I just need to double check something real quick here. Um, no, wait. Who promotes into capitalists? I forget. Artisans can, apparently. So, yeah. Capitalists. Um, encourage. Blah, blah, blah. State capitalist is at least 0.3%. I see. Okay. Um, so that means I'm actually well over what I need in the state. That's fine. We can set that back to... Um, whatever the hell they're called. Craftsmen, then. Get more craftsmen. How big can these factories get? Level 99, with each level adding in an additional 10,000 jobs, I believe it is. So each factory can employ 999,000. Alright. So how's the diplomacy going here? 41? Increase relations some more with India. Let's try and speed it up a little here. We only need to get to 50, and we can see our number here as it increases. And of course, people like Teresa will join in on this uh, crusade here. You know what? I'm going to move you guys up here, get a little more support to this front. I could have intervened, but on the side of Kerlin, I... Oh no, wait, that's, they're attacking. So yeah, we just need India to have a friendly opinion of us. Let's increase the relations a little more. 46. Manchu is now more attached today. So yeah. Alright, we're 48. Again, I have no idea if you guys can actually hear me. Why is Scandinavia so strong? Prestige. Yeah, you're right. It's pretty much prestige there. Like I said, Russia's got the strongest military, or actually pretty much the strongest military as well. Second only to France, Britannia, the German Federation. They're all very close there. They're dwarfed massively by me, but I'm actually ahead of Wu now. <laughs> Take that, China. Shove that in your opium pipe. That's what people smoke nowadays, right? So, uh, we're up to 49.3. 49.5, 7, 8, 9, 50. Here, Joseph, somebody. We will increase our opinion. And as we can see, we can now... Yep, we are allowed to declare war on the said nations, and... I wish to enter. That was rather ominous, but okay. That's just not exactly what I like seeing, or hearing. What the f... I'm pretty sure I told you to go there. Up to, up to, up to, up. 
Charissa has joined in, I assume. Call ally. Right, no, none of my allies actually joined. New to a technicality. I actually have to call them. But they'll come. And, I mean, Taris is already coming now. So, that actually... Um, yeah, if someone else were to... I think this should be classified as a great war, right? Or do we need a second great power on my side as well? Yeah, I can't add another war goal, because we now have, we have status quo, because, um, yeah, I demand this from Quasima Stan. I demand that everything return to normality. I cannot add an aggressive war goal. And it appears the Russians are launching an attack. Very futile. Well, uh, okay. There's an even split button, right? Yeah, balance. Okay. Let's first start by splitting you two up completely. No, uh, Great War's classified when I think it's two great powers on each side. Uh, if there's two great powers on each side, it becomes a Great War. Which I then believe I will be able to actually add in stuff on. You know, the side then, if it becomes a Great War. I'm gonna call them in. So our total military power is now 722 to 127. I hate to say it, but I think they're screwed, guys. Yeah. Alright, well, now that we've got them done, uh balance. And let's try and rebalance these guys as well. Holy Jesus. No. I want one of you guys staying behind. There we go. Oop, the upper house has been arranged. After we passed two reforms, I'm not surprised to see that the conservatives got their ass handed to them. Tends to happen after your past reforms. Speaking of which, what are the current movements? Let's see. I'm irrelevant to you, because you're so small. The Mali Liberation Movement. They don't really have anyone either, so... Really, the only thing I have to work, watch out for are these unemployment subsidy guys. Um... 40% of the upper house is currently voting yes, so... If they get any more powerful, then the Conservatives will uh, topple over to their demands. Upper House Rearrangements tends to mess up recordings and streams. Um, hmm. What tank do they get bear cavalry? I have no idea. Well, it appears the Russians have brought out the guns. They seem to have the manpower to do stuff. Alright, so once they're finished, I'll move back in here and move with them. And we'll try and get somewhere. Yeah, we've got a whole lot of guys just kind of building up here. Alright. An alliance offer from Nizhny Novgorod. Sure. I get what you're saying. Now they have a truce until... April. Okay. <laughs> Come April, they will join us in our mighty... mighty war. 
Remember, I may not be able to add in war goals here, but you know who can? Everybody else. Eh, why do I not do military attack? Because I don't need it, really. I'm not in any particular need of military attack, so... It's mostly irrelevant to me. But, um... Yeah. So yeah, how are the factories doing? We can't neglect the factories just because we've gone to war. So Giza's got a slight unemployment problem, but that's okay. That'll be fixed. Yeah, alright. Okay, that's going good. That's almost finished. That's excellent. And it's March. Not quite April yet. Alright, we've got another group that I can just kind of send off over here. Alrighty, we have a score 525 militarily. Yeah, that's actually the score of all the great powers combined, and then some. I think.